Hello everyone, uh, Andre here, and this is gonna be vlog number three. So, um, not a lot has changed since the last uh, the last vlog um, because that was a couple minutes ago. But what I've done now is um, again I have my channel two on the oscilloscope hooked up to my uh, Due, which is outputting ppm at eight channels. Um, and secondly, I have uh, added this. So this is my normal um, RC transmitter. And uh, what I've done to it is I've hooked it up to my um, channel uh, one oscilloscope probe, um, and uh, this is uh, outputting ppm uh, like it uh, it natively would. Um, of course, what goes in that slot there normally would be this little guy. So this is an FR Sky XJT 2.4 gigahertz uh, radio module, and uh, it would hook up to these pins. But of course, I've uh, taken this out so we can actually get some uh, straight up PPM from the values. And this is the module that will most likely actually go into the final version of the uh, Duo ATX Pro or whatever module you want. Anyway, so um, this is going to be on channel one. So um, looking at our uh, live feed from the oscilloscope here, what we have is channel one um, being here and channel two being here from the uh, Duo. And. Um, let me just set my trigger switch auto there, of course. And, um, okay, so let's just go ahead and pause this for a bit here, once they overlap a bit. Okay, that's good enough. Um, so, just to show you that the logic levels are different, um, the top value obviously here is going to be uh, channel 1, that's going to be the 5 volt signal coming from the transmitter, and the second one is going to be the 3.3 uh, volt uh, signal coming from the Duet. Now I'm not sure if the Duet, um, the 3.3 volt uh, is enough to trigger the the module and that's gonna, I'm gonna have to test that but uh, worst case scenario I'm going to have to experiment with um, some uh, fast switching uh, transistors to do the um, logic level conversion. But if we actually look at just how similar these, um, let me just separate them again, uh, okay, if we look at just how similar the um, the pulse output is. Um, of course, we're not going to have the same values, and the timing is slightly off because they start off um, slightly differently. Um, but just to get a general idea, um, we need to adjust some of the timings. But you can see the signal looks remarkably similar to what we get from the actual um, RC transmitter. So, assuming we fine tune these values and we fine tune the delay time here, which is going to be easy. Um, we will have a working PPM receiver. So um, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, more videos, testing it soon, and um, yeah.